controversy of gun bill in the legislative session. We're glad to be with you tonight. I'm Jabari Pruitt. In our top story, WVUA 23's Yasmin Panetta joins us live. And Yasmin, how controversial is this bill? Well, Jabari, it depends on who you ask. If you ask Alabama Senator Gerald Allen, he would say it is necessary. If a citizen would like to carry a, a concealed weapon with them in, in the state of Alabama, then they can carry it without a permit. Mm -hmm. But if they travel outside the state, then uh, they must uh, purchase a permit. Senator Allen's bill would repeal the requirement for a permit to carry a concealed handgun in the state, which goes more in depth than a previous bill he sponsored several years ago. I'm kind of, I'm for that and against it because I think everyone should be able to own a gun. But at the same time, the whole not having a permit thing kind of creeps me out a little bit. Rodriguez says he has a sister who has a permit and says she would fear for her life without it. We live in Atlanta. It's dangerous. Like, it's not a safe city. But we live there and, like, she has it so, like, she has the permit. You know what I mean? She doesn't just say, oh, this is my gun, everybody, walking into an Apple store. Some are against the proposal because they feel it will give certain people false power. Having a gun helps people with inferior complex, so they feel like they have power. So somebody that they wouldn't ordinarily, ordinarily get into an altercation with because they're much bigger or whatnot, they feel like they're more powerful, so they're more likely to pull a gun. Others are more concerned with the lack of precautionary measures taken before issuing permits. There may be more of an extensive background check to really know the people that we're just walk, letting walk around carry guns. The current law requires a handgun in a vehicle to be unloaded and locked away unless the owner has a concealed carry permit. Live in the studio, Yasmin Pineda, WVUA 23 News.